Hi, my name is Robin Wong and I want to share five more useful autofocus tips for your Olympus OMD cameras. Let's do this. Previously, I've already shared some tips on autofocus using Olympus OMD cameras. You can check out the video. If you have not, I'll leave the link up here. I will not repeat any of those previous tips in this video. I'm going to share additional fresh five more tips to improve your autofocus performance and functionality using Olympus OMD cameras. Tip number one. Use the default autofocus point selection. For Olympus OMD cameras, there are two ways to select the autofocus point. One through the arrow pad or the joystick if you have the autofocus joystick in the newer Olympus cameras such as the EM1X or the EM1 Mark III. But for all other Olympus cameras, you can activate the autofocus points from the arrow pad up, down, left, right buttons. The second method to change the focusing point or to select a certain area in the screen to be in focus is by using the touch screen. I would highly recommend not to use the screen's touch screen operation if you truly want to prioritize autofocus speed and accuracy. The default autofocus point selection from the joystick selection or the up, down, left, right arrow pad, that is the superior autofocus point which you should be using. The reason is very simple. Olympus high-end cameras such as the EM1 series, EM1 Mark II, EM1 Mark III, EM5 Mark III, as well as the EM1X, these cameras have face detect autofocus sensors built into the image sensor. Guess where the face detect autofocus sensor is? That's right, the face detect autofocus sensors are located exactly at where those default autofocus points are at. If you move the autofocus point on the LCD screen, you will not be able to maximize the potential of the face detect plus contrast detect autofocus performance. Since we are on the subject of focusing points, if your focusing point is straight too far away from the center, instead of slowly moving it all the way back, you have to press it many, many times. If the point is straying too far, what you can do is just press and hold the OK button and the focusing point will return to the center. I've shared this tip before. I just want to mention it here again in case you missed it. Autofocus tip number two. Enable F area pointer on two. Deep in the Olympus camera menu, there is this setting for autofocus, which is F area pointer. There are two options, on one and on two. Now, most of you have experienced this. As you move the focusing point to exactly where you want the frame to be in focus, and that green box is already there. As you half press the shutter button and you get autofocus confirmation, the green box disappears. If you want that green box to remain to be seen on screen, if you want that to remain as you half press and hold down the shutter button, then here is what you have to do. To find the autofocus error pointer, go to menu under the gear tab, find A2, A for autofocus, AF area pointer from on one, change it to on two. It says displays frame while shutter button is half pressed. Once this is enabled, as you move the focusing point along, half press the shutter button, and as long as you are still holding down the shutter button, the autofocus point or the green box will continue to light up and you can clearly see where the focusing point is. Tip number three, link the autofocus point with spot metering. I have shared this particular tip in one of my many, many Olympus OMD tips videos, but I want to bring this up again specifically in this autofocus tip video. By default, if you haven't changed anything in your Olympus camera, the metering operation and the autofocus operations are separate. They are not linked. 
Typically, when we enable the spot metering, the camera will only calculate the exposure based on that tiny circular dot in the middle of the screen. However, it's inside that circle will be used for the exposure. Now, as we move along the focusing point, as you can see, the metering does not change. The exposure stays the same. This is a default setting. We can change this. We can link the autofocus point together with spot metering operation. We go to menu under the cogs or the gear icon. We go to E3. E E stands for exposure. E3, we go to spot metering, press info to see what it says. For the selected items, metering will be executed in the area of the autofocus target, linking autofocus point with spot metering. Go in and check the spot metering. Once this is done, you exit this. And as you move along the focusing point, you will see that the metering changes. The metering will calculate at that exact spot where your autofocus point is currently located. This can be very useful in a lot of situations. Autofocus tip number four, disable lens reset for macro photography. If you're doing a lot of close-up shooting, any shooting that is within one or two meters distance, and you have your camera's lens reset setting on, it does get very, very troublesome. I have an extreme close-up shot here of the head of a Lego figure. This is already in focus. Say that I leave this camera here for a while, I don't touch it, or I turn the camera completely off, and as I turn it on again, the camera has lost focus because the lens is reset to infinity by default. And as I then half press the shutter button again, the camera will take some time to reacquire focus. And this can be troublesome for close up extreme macro shooting. And this is even more so because the camera will have to work harder to calculate the very, very, very close distance in comparison to other normal shooting conditions. Therefore, we can disable the lens reset we go to menu under the cogs of gear we go to a3 or a4 sorry it was a4 i got confused there and you see there is a reset lens it says when set to on this lens resets the position of the lens the power is turned off therefore we don't want it to reset we turn it off now i have this in focus as i turn off the camera and if i turn on the camera again see the camera will go immediately back to the last position of focus. This can be quite useful and can save you a lot of headache if you use, if you shoot a lot of macro photography. And finally, tip number five, you can use focus peaking together with other focus. You heard it right. Focus picking can not only be used with manual focus, it was designed to assist manual focus to quickly acquire focus, but it can also be used for autofocus if you want to. All you have to do is assign a specific function button in one of the many customizable buttons on your Olympus OMV camera to enable focus picking. You need to reassign one of the custom function buttons to peaking. There are many buttons to do that, but uh, for this demonstration, I'm gonna use the ALF button. I know this button is very useful for a lot of people. You don't have to choose this. You can choose any other buttons. But for the sake of this demonstration, this is easier because you can all see it. Now I'm gonna go to menu. Under the cogs or gear, we find the B, B for button. Under button function, we go F, L, and A, L. We go inside furthermore, and I'm going to reassign this to peaking. Gotta scroll down a little bit. There are many functions you can choose from. There it is. Press OK. Once this is already assigned, we exit. And if you want to see peaking, just press that assign button you'll see that peaking will show you and indicate the area or the zone of the image, which is in clear focus. 
That's all the autofocus tips I have to share in this video. If you found any of the tips useful, please consider buying me a cup of coffee. I'll put the link in the descriptions below. Never underestimate the power of coffee. All I can promise in return is I will produce more similar videos coming this way. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so. And I will definitely see you again in the next video. Please do stay safe and take care. Bye-bye. And if you don't use the and if you use the and if you use the touch screen on the LCD screen to move the awkward and if you don't use this default of course and if you use this and if you use the LCD screens autofocus and if you use the touch screens autofocus point you will not be able to make full use of this face detect autofocus boost Therefore, I'll...